So what the cat, ladies and gentlemen, this is a weary Bangkokian 1967, oh, I'm tired today. Uh, this is my video response to Scott, the Sega Saturn lad, and his 10 really good gaming questions. Okay, uh, let's begin, shall we? Uh, number one, question one was, what, what was your favourite analogue pad? Um, right now, it's the PlayStation 4 pad. This is a masterpiece in game controller design. Massive, massive improvement over the DualShocks, which they were okay, but nothing special. But this is something special. It's it's nice and light. The sticks are a lot, a lot harder to move, a lot more resistive, and I like the the lip on both controllers. It makes your thumbs grip the controller a lot, a lot more, and it just feels so much nicer than the old dual jocks. This is excellent. Well done Sony on this design. Huge improvement. <sighs> excellent. I look like the uh what the R R2 and the L2 triggers are a lot better. They're a lot more a lot more play in them. No, excellent. Excellent pair. Which is more can be said for this monstrosity. This is the Xbox One pad, just don't like it. The Xbox 360 pad is far better. It's too heavy. Don't like the uh, hold the, the Xbox button, how you press that, it doesn't feel right. Uh, I don't like all the serrations on the outside of the, the analog sticks. Just feels wrong against my skin when I've got my thumbs on them. I like the triggers, the force feedback on the triggers is nice. It's good with steering, with steering uh, when you're steering your car in Forza, but everything else, I just don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, no, not for me. Okay, uh, question two. Got them minted, written down here. Uh, which YouTube channel do you hate the most? It has to be over 10k subs, and uh, yeah, I'm not the only one saying this, but it is boogie, boogie, boogie all the way. Just can't stand that guy. I mean, I'm as fat. I'm not as fat, but I'm getting there. I'm getting as fat as Ian. But that doesn't make any difference. But it's just, it's just the way he is. I, that Francis character with the lisp. The strikes me at the wall. I just don't find it funny at all. And when he's being his true self, when he's speaking, or I should say, lecturing to everybody about everyone, how everyone should be behave and how everyone should be more like him. Just so self-righteous, he's got such a huge sense of self-importance, just completely rubs me up the wrong way. He thinks he's God's gift to YouTube and he ain't, you know? No, not for me. Uh, what was the question three? Uh, who are your YouTube best pals? I'm pretty new to YouTube. I've been on it for what, a month and a half now or something like that. Not really got any best pals. I suppose the best pal has to live in the same country, don't, don't they? Or you have to be able to meet up. Well, I don't know. I don't know any other YouTubers in Thailand who's into gaming. So, I don't know to be honest. <coughs> um, trend wise, uh, I do like Dave Armour Game Geek and Evo Healer and t Rex Space, Space Station uh, and uh, Cojones. Uh, we uh, often chat on YouTube comments and, and Dave and Evo, I've spoke to Dave, yeah, I'm a game geek on Twitter quite a lot and uh, Evo Healer, I've spoke to him on, YouTube, on Steam and one of these days we will play Daisy together. Problem is the time, I'm seven hours ahead and I get back from work and I'm absolutely knackered I've got to put the kids to bed and do that. one weekend I'm going to have to get together. We'll have to do something because I'm a, I do like my, my Daisy. So we'll see. Uh, what's what's the next one? Uh, most you spent in a game and what is that game? I'm not really a collector. I'm just purely a gamer. But when it comes to the MMOs, I do like to buy the collector's edition of the MMOs. And uh, the last one that I spent a lot of money on was uh, the now defunct Warhammer Online. And I did like the collector's edition for this. 
because you got two really good hardback books. The first one is a, it's a graphic, excuse me, it's a graphic novel, and it's a really good graphic novel. Lovely art. Uh, yeah, it's just decent size as well, you know. You got a really nice graphic novel, and again, I've got the Conan one, and this is similar. You get all the all the game. Excuse me. There you go. You get all the game art, which is really nice. And um, this was a no-brainer for me. It cost me a hundred bucks, but I've always liked the Warhammer series. I love the Warhammer MMO. It's a shame it's now it's kaput, but. Great, great purchase, and I'm, I'm, I've, I still keep looking at this, you know, I just love the art, it's just awesome, really nice. Anyway, that's the most I've ever spent, and that was a hundred bucks. Uh, what's the next one? Let's see. Uh, if you could live in a game world, what would that be? Uh, I don't want anything dangerous, and so I looked at all my games, which is the safest one, and uh, I came up with this, that's all I can think of. The Viva Piñata game world. Because if I be a human and everything else, pretty harmless. And if you, if anything did try to get you, you just knock it on the head and sweets would come out, you know? So, just as good a, good a game world as any. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, would gaming be better if Sony or Microsoft had never entered the market? Um, I was thinking it'd be worse off if they didn't enter. Because don't forget, um, it was Sony who got screwed by Nintendo, by Nintendo, sorry, over their CD add-on for the SNES. Nintendo completely fucked them over on that when they were almost finished and they spent God knows how much on R&D. So Sony took what they'd learnt, made the PlayStation, uh, original PlayStation, and without the original PlayStation, uh, maybe the, th the era of fast 3D games would have been delayed by a couple of years. You never know, you know, because the launch lineup of the PlayStation, the Ridge Racers, the Jumping Flashes, awesome, you know, just 3D that, that works. Yeah, I'm a PC gamer, I've been used to those graphics for years beforehand, but for the mainstream audience, they brought 3D into the mainstream, so Sony, definitely. Microsoft, I'd say probably it's a good thing they entered, because uh, they really helped to bring the first person shooters and the online gaming into the mainstream with Halo, and Halo led on to the new Call of Duties, and the Xbox Live opened up all the uh, online gaming and the party chats and the systems for that. So yeah, I'm glad to hear. And if it wasn't them, it'd be somebody else, you know. There'd be God, God help us if Samsung, if Samsung or Apple gets involved. It'd be a nightmare. Right. Uh, next one. What's the worst console? Uh, Scott listed several consoles, and uh, I'm, I've never had any of them on the list. So just from reading about all the different consoles that he selected. I'd have to say this Philips CDI is the worst one on that list to me, purely because I just don't like the FMV games and the Zelda and Mario games that I was on there. They seem like an absolute abomination to me, so I would have chose yeah, CDI. Uh, most important lesson YouTube has taught me. Uh, it's, I found it really comforting to know that I'm, the, I'm not the only gaming obsessed person out there. As I said, I'm pretty new to YouTube and uh, here in Thailand, there's only one other person that I know who's into video games. And that's just one other person that I know. And uh, it was my son who started watching all these Minecraft videos because he's into his Minecraft and I'm just curious, what are you watching, what are you watching? And just one day in YouTube, I, I just typed in retro games, looking for BBC Micro Gameplays, and I found this huge treasure trove of videos and superb channels that I'm now all sub to. And uh, it's great. I'm not alone. There are other people who feel just like me, and it's wonderful. 
So yeah, it's not being alone. All right, uh, what do your family think of your retro gaming hobby? Probably the less said about that, the better. Uh, the missus does not understand why so much of my monthly salary goes on to my, my gaming hobby. She never understands as well. But I've always been a huge, huge gamer. I've always spent a crap load of money on my, my games. I don't play golf, I don't do anything like that. This is my number one hobby. So why not spend what I want on my hobby? Uh, let's see. If you were a zombie, <laughs> this is a good one. If you were a zombie, who would you eat first? Now, don't forget if you're a zombie, the most delicious delicious part of your body that you're gonna eat is the brain. So zombie, you go for the best brain you can think of. And you'd want someone who's an easy target. So you could in the zombie apocalypse, the power would go out within a couple of days. Um, there's a, a person called Stephen Hawking in the UK. And after a couple of days into the apocalypse, his batteries would have run out. And there would be this genius with a beautiful brain. So yeah, if I was in the UK, Stephen Hawking, lovely, delicious brain. And He'd have no batteries, so he couldn't run away. So, be Stephen Hawking. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that video response.